Well, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Eagle's Nest. A little quick video. I uh, just got back from a match, so I have lots of brass to prep. And we all know that the uh, reloading process, brass prep, really sucks. So I thought to myself, how can I speed this up and get better consistent measurements? We all know that we have to full length size our brass, and uh, we like using the comparator tool. So I full length size my brass, and I like to measure exactly what my full length size die is doing. For instance, for me, I like to have zero bump. That's uh, my preference. It's been something I've been doing for a while and what I believe in. So zero bump for my Savage rifle. And to get that accuracy, you know, Hornady does make this tool called a Hornady Headspace Comparator Kit. That does come with uh, lots of bushings and they're specifically designed um, to, to basically measure right off the datum line or basically a specific number. Like for instance, this one is 375 thousandths. Um, you want to pick the comparator that's going to best measure uh, the datum line according to the SAMI spec. However, I do notice that these things aren't really that accurate. So taking a, uh, the major ID measurement off this comparator, it's listed as 373 thousandths is what I'm using for the six arc. And my measurement is 371 thousandths, so two thousandths under. So here's the other issue with these comparators. Uh, this thing is made out of aluminum, which is awesome, which is great for thermal expansion. These things don't move at all. However, it's only going to have uh, a little bit of surface area that's going to be touching your case. So all it is is just a precision cut, well, supposedly precision cut, 375 thousandths is just a bored piece of aluminum that's supposed to measure right off the actual shoulder. So you only have a little bit, maybe one or two thousandths touching uh, your shoulder. And you know, with a little bit of play or you got some grime and dirt, that really doesn't give you a good measurement. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I make a better tool? And I'm sitting here staring at my lathe and it dawned on me. The biggest thing that we're trying to do or the, the best thing we're trying to do is size our brass to fit our chamber as best as possible. Well, why don't I just use my finishing reamer to make me a gauge? If I'm trying to get this piece of brass as close as measurements to my chamber, well, shoot, here's the finishing reamer. Why don't I just make myself my own gauge using the same finishing reamer and make me a kind of a, a short chamber uh, comparator? You know, and since I build barrels all the time and build rifles, I got a bunch of these, uh, you know, barrel stubs laying around. This is a cutoff stub from a Sendero barrel, uh, 416R stainless steel. You know, I can just chuck it into the lathe here, three jaw chuck, turn it down and kind of chamber this, uh, this thing just a little bit. And that's going to give me two tools actually to begin with. So one would be a comparator and two, I can actually measure uh, my throat erosion on my barrel uh, using the Hornady overall length gauge. So let's do it. I'm going to make myself a tool. I think this would be a great idea. Make me a better, uh, more accurate comparator. And let's see how this thing works. Okay, so that thing's faced off. Now all I gotta do now is turn the outside diameter to a 742 thousandths diameter. So just like chambering a barrel, I'm gonna use a finishing reamer here. This is the six arc reamer, same reamer I use for my rifle and many others that I build. And same process, throw some cutting oil in there, get this all the way in there, almost started. And give it a cut. right and we're basically going to go right to about the shoulder like I mentioned this is a piece of barrel so it does have lands and grooves in there as well I'm doing a pretty aggressive cut here so there is there it is using the finishing reamer to make a comparator and it actually looks pretty damn good. 
a piece of brass here we'll try out. So here's a little fire form piece of brass. And it is a nice tight fit. So when you resize this thing, it would actually fit very, very nice and snug. So, wow, that thing is on there. Let me get a uh, piece of brass that I sized. So here's actually one of my actual um, cartridges that I made. And um, there we go. Very, very tight fit. I think that would make an excellent comparator. So you can feel there's barely a little bit of slop, but everything is fully supported. And this will act like two gauges, basically my um, my throat gauge, so I can see exactly how much jump it is to the lands, and also how much free bore I'm actually eroding away. So also my barrel life. So if I'm using the same finishing reamer, th uh, this will tell me my barrel life and give me two measurements to go off of. All right, so let me finish this up and show what it looks like on the actual Hornady comparator kit. So here I have a fired case and pretty much rammed into the comparator and we're going to set zero on this gauge now now the trick to it now is to remove this freaking thing and it's pretty much wedged in there pretty pretty tight so let me give this thing a wiggle so now i have a full length size case and i want to see how accurate my full length size and die is and uh this one goes in pretty nice and easy and right there back at zero so this is going to give me a more accurate reading. So let's see what this one is. This one's already prepped, ready to go. Let's see how, what this is. Ooh. That one's actually bumped back quite a bit. So this was on another rifle. So you can see there, that's about 7,000 a bump. A little bit too excessive, but uh, they'll still fire out of my rifle. So there you go. A better Hornady Headspace Comparator Kit using the finishing reamer, same reamer that I use off the rifle. And I think this will be a better tool for measuring uh, your full length size and die. Now the question is, am I going to offer this on the website? Um, I will. Actually, uh, when I build a rifle for folks, if folks want a Hornady Headspace Comparator tool or a modified case, which I have here, I could definitely provide that as well, an additional cost. So this will give you a better measuring tool for your hand loads. Now that I have this little bushing die and it is made out of a barrel, it does have lands and grooves. I could also use this to measure the uh, bullet overall length and uh, see exactly what my lands and grooves will be or my cartridge overall length um, you know, for a factory chamber and kind of measure exactly what my, um, my throat erosion is. So this one I noticed uh, it was kind of sticking in a little bit. So let's see here. If I back this tool off a little bit, let the bullet go in. Let's see, let's take this off a little tight. All right, so this will go in. All right, now I can measure my cartridge overall length. And give that a wiggle and there we go. That would be the factory chamber, basically um, the original chamber. And that would be the case base the guy or the overall length of the cartridge. And you can use this to measure uh, how much erosion you have on your rifle. Well folks, uh, that's all I got. Let me know what you think. Comment below, uh, like, share, subscribe. As always, stay safe and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching.